What's up guys? Good morning. It's Kevin here. So this morning we got three comparisons for you. We got the eBay $40 special. We got the Surpass Hobby from Amazon, which I threw in the Monster Bandit already. And I got to say, I was surprised with the results. And we got the Castle Creations, the premium product. Let's talk about a quick unboxing experience. This is how you get your $40 special from eBay. It is unbranded, and I don't expect much from this, but I underestimated the Surpass Hobby. A little more on that in a second. Surpass Hobby, slightly better unboxing experience. We got a little programming card in here. It comes in a nice little box. It's like $90 from Amazon. I'll throw links down in the description for all of these. Uh, I already threw it in the Monster Bandit. I did not expect much from this ESC motor combo. I have a crazy pinion gearing in here. Uh, I got it up to 60 miles an hour. And at 60 miles an hour, it would wheelie and lose traction every time. I couldn't get it over 60. It was just going too fast. So I was going to do all my testing in this car, but I am going to switch to the Fortec, hopefully to get a little better action out of it. Uh, lastly, we got the Copperhead from Castle Creations. Obviously a premium product, much better unboxing experience. It's a tiny little ESC. can't believe that thing can pump so much power and the beautiful green motor. Uh, so let's get into this. The first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna test the garbage $40 eBay thing first and see how that does. All right, didn't wanna bore you guys with all of the build out. So this is what we got. We got this tiny little ESC in here. It's got a nice little fan. There is an exposed board on the side of the uh, ESC. It has a tiny little capacitor built into it, a switch, Dean's connector. I don't expect much from this at all. Um, I'm running all my tests with the same battery. This is a 5400 Onyx 3 cell. Uh, let's do a quick test to see the uh, delay and the lag that's probably going to be quite bad out of this ESC. It's sung its song. Let's see how bad this is. I'm experiencing this with you. Ready? Wow, that's horrifyingly bad. One more time. No responsiveness at all. That's exactly what I expected out of this. Uh, in case you're interested, we're running a 55 tooth spur gear and a 35 tooth pinion. Time to go do some speed runs. I got the uh, GNS performance analyzer on here. Let's go. Okay, we're here at the spot. We got the Fortex set up with the cheap eBay ESC motor combo. We got the power GNS amp uh, analyzer hooked up. It's set. We're set to go. It's tested. Let's see how bad this is. Quick burnout. I doubt it's going to do it. All right, top speed. All right, I did get it to go flat out. Let's see how fast she went. Here we go. Stop. Read. 60 miles an hour. Not bad. Not fun to drive though. The lag is terrible. You can't drift with it. You can't do much. All right, let's get back to the shop and pop in the Surpass Hobby. All right, time for the Surpass. So while I'm doing this, really important. If you like this kind of stuff, you want other people to see it too, like you, the only way that's gonna happen is if you hit that like button. You don't have to subscribe. Subscribe if you don't want to miss all the cool videos, but uh, a like would help a lot. One other thing I need to mention. The shaft on this thing is so short, I had to mount the pinion backwards, and it barely attaches. So that's something to consider. Okay, it's time to see if the Surpass has any redeeming factors. One thing I can say is, if you're thinking about that motor, motor for a Fortec, it does not fit. You would have to cut the side of the chassis out to make room for it. Uh, otherwise, it just rubs against the drive shaft. The ESC is just a little big, so skip it for the Fortec. It does fit in other platforms. I had it on my Bandit. Fits very nice in there. Let's go see what it can do. Before we run, let's do the lag test. I expect this to be a little better than the unbranded eBay one, but probably nothing like the Castle. Ready? Here we go. One more time. All right, we're here at a new spot. I came to a different parking lot down by the beach because I figured this Surpass has a little more juice. It's 
going to need a little more room to get up to top speed. The GPS is on, starting the track right now. Let's see what it can do. Here's our burnout. Let's see if it can do it. It can. Far more juice than the uh, unbranded eBay garbage. Let's go across the lot. See? All right, here it comes. Flat out. And she hits the curb. Terrific. Battery probably popped out. Yep, rear drive shafts out. Game over. Let's get the GPS out. See what she did. Stop. Read. 75. Wow, look at that. 75 miles an hour. Okie dokie, we're back in the shop. Uh, the surpass is coming out, the copper head's going in. I'm not going to bore you with all the build out here, but so far very impressed with the surpass for the money. All right, we got the Castle Creations copperhead mounted in here. Let's do the quick um, lag test. I don't expect any lag from this motor. Here we go. Zero lag, as expected from Castle Creations. First things first, let's see that burnout. Left some marks on the ground, that's nice. One more, here we go. Definitely kicking up rocks. All right, let's take her down to the end and see what she can do. Here we go. I can't get it going straight, here we go. All right, that was, oh. Flat out. All right, let's check that speed. Here we go. Moment of truth. What was the top speed with the copperhead? Stop. Read. 62. So the surpass gave us 75. This one gave us 62. That may seem a little disappointing. A premium product only went 62 miles an hour. But the copperhead has a trick up its sleeve. We were running on 3S. The copperhead is the only combo out of this three that we've tested that can run 4S. So now it's time to crank it up. Everything's synced up, looking good. Starting track. We have a good test. Oh, let's see what it can do. We can get down to the beginning of the track here. All right, here it goes. Ah, no good. Ugh. And we're back at the beach. Um, the car is rebuilt. Some new steering knuckles, new steering servo, new shafts, etc., etc. Anyhow, my GPS is also shot, so my cell phone is actually in this car to finally get the final speed here. Ah. Oh. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. A little burnout. Alright. Let's see if we get at the top speed. Flat out. Oh, here we go. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. I'm getting sick of these speed runs. Well, let's see what we got. Besides grass sticking out of the body. Tape broke as expected. There we go. Top speed, 78 miles an hour. Let's see if I can clean off that a little bit. 78. Honestly, I think we could get a little more out of her, but I don't have a lot of room or any more freaking time. So if you're at the video at this point, you've enjoyed what I've made, do me a favor. Leave a comment, leave a like. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and I would really appreciate it. Have a great day. Uh, front drive shafts out. Rear drive shafts are okay.